Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, episode 29 of Who Should You Choose, the video series where I go through all the prior videos, questions, and comments, and help you with your hut lineup decisions. Guys, today is Friday. There is a new event in Hockey Ultimate Team, the new Leaders event, and if you want to come check that out live with the community, I stream at 2 p.m. Eastern time all the way up to the new content today, and the new event days are pretty big. We'll go through all the cards live, get some reactions, and then give some quick rankings and just, you know, cover the new event. So make sure you're there for at least 5 p.m. Eastern time. Again, link for my Twitch is down below, twitch.tv slash no sleeve swarm. All right, guys, let's get into the prior video's questions. <clears throat> And we'll start with R2. Uh, hey, Sleeves, thank you for the great videos. Helps a lot. No problem, buddy. I'm free to play, and I have 280,000 coins. Cards to do at least one master, probably two. Going to replace Pugliarvi with Barzal, and going to get Carlson or Burns. So which one would fit better, and is there any other master I should get? Uh, so just handling his defense real quick. You can't see. He's got Blake, Hedman, Makar, Orlov, Jones, and... Ivan, uh, well, your right-handed defenseman probably needs some love, I think, more than anything with that with that uh, superstar Origins Jones still in your lineup. Um, given that you've got team of the year headman, Orlov is pretty good. He plays a little bit heavier than someone who's under six foot. You have already have Makar, though, but you also have Blake. Uh, I'm going to say go Carlson here. I don't think he's better than Burns at all, but just given your lineup, and I'm, I can't see what division you're in or anything like that, but Carlson's safe. I will say that. Uh, in terms of the other one, you've got Mac, Duchesne, Rantanen, Aho, Stamco, Solani, Ovechkin, Crosby, McDavid. Your lineup is really good up front. Uh, in terms of your righties, Pugliarvi, yeah, with Barzell, that's fine. That would definitely recommend that. Evan Muller says, hey, Sleeves, here's my team. I'm pretty empty collection, but I have 270,000 coins, and I'm about to open up my free 94 icon to get Burns replaced Makar. I am upgrading X Factor Barzal up to 92 ish when he gets fly of the zone. After this week, I will have 10 power collectibles looking for a three left D and a three left wing, or maybe I will upgrade Chikrin. Should I sell Vimelka and make the 86 price and just leave? I would just keep Vimelka. He's one of the better, cheaper goaltenders. Uh, in terms of the last upgrading Barzal to 92, that makes sense. You need a three left wing. You've got the 91 Pasternak or the 90. Uh, definitely get Chikrin up to about 90. I think that would be definitely be. And then Extractor Makar, again, you want to do a couple of the cheaper upgrades to like 88, 89. That's where I would sit. You really don't need another left-handed defenseman. Uh, in terms of left-handed or uh, left left wingers, I don't, uh, it looks like you need a righty. But Barzal's going to go up, so then you've got Walsh from McKinnon. So I would just focus on getting Chikrin up. Yo, says, hey, Sleeves, I'm wondering what I should do about style icons. I have about 14 collectibles. Think about choosing Barzal as my free 94 if you think that's a good idea. Do you think I should upgrade Sagan with the collectibles or have I have or should I make a defenseman, Chikrin, or Burns? Since I will have a bunch of centers, who should I put at center? Sagan, Matthews, Paterka, Barzal, or Reinhardt? Uh, well, Barzal put him on the wing. Matthews has got to be center. Paterka has got to be center. And then Matthews probably. So then Reinhardt there as well. Um, I would put say I would put Barzal on the wing, um, and maybe even Sagan if you could. Depends if you upgrade him. McDavid is going for about seventy five k on PS four right now. Is it still worth it? It is, but check out some of the left handed style uh, stars of the month cards first. And you also need to focus on your defenseman, man. Um, with your free ninety four, I would honestly choose a defenseman. Like you've got Yandel, Krug, Koliakovo. Yeah, you need to... I would definitely focus on getting a defenseman. Um, trying to think of who would you go after. You need a lefty, I believe. So, uh, Chikrin would probably be the one I would go with. Simultaneously post a YouTube video and goes live on Twitch. I do that quite a bit, man. Uh, Just Challenge says, Hey, Sleeves, I'm wondering if I should downgrade my 88 X-Factor Yossi and a 91 Latang. I wanted to get Chikrin for my free 94, just not sure what the next movie. I would bail out on Yossi. I think that he's going to cost too much uh, now, and he's just not all that great of a skater. Um, just kind of getting born with too many X-Factors. Which one would you suggest keeping? All right, so he's got Mac, Duchesne, Rantanen, Stamko, Sagan, McDavid, Kane, Paterka, Ovi, Stutzla, Matthews, Eichel, Makar, Hedman, Byram, Hamilton, Latang. Oh, so Yossi can go for sure. All your other ones are actually pretty good, even Kane. I'm, I, Kane might be the other one that I would get rid of, but uh, there's no real reason to. Latang is okay as well, but there's a lot of other good right-handed options. So if you want to move on from Latang, you can do that as well. Uh, 
I need a left-handed forward and a righty demon. I can make one team builder and I can choose one style for free. Would you say Carlson and Zetterberg or a different combo? Um, he can make a style icon. Zetterberg is the best one. And the righty. I would go Zetterberg Burns. Uh, but you know your play style more. If you think that Carlson would be more beneficial to you, I'd probably go Carlson. Uh, but hmm. Zetterberg for sure, and then Carlson or Burns, whoever you like, yeah. Uh, Ace Sleeves from Maj. Love the channel. Thanks for all the help so far. Really struggling with center. Matthews is just not working. I got flamed, guys, for that Matthews take on his X Factor just not feeling good and being super expensive. I just want to point out there are people that agree with me. Um, while you might enjoy it, that's fine. I want to also make sure that if you guys like a card and I say that it might not be the best in terms of the meta or most competitive, please use the card that you are working with. But I just want to point out that people, there's Matthews has felt very sluggish this year. Um, Zetterberg seems too expensive. I have about 250,000 coins. Here's my lineup. He's got Barzal, Duchesne McDavid, Matthews, Ranton, and Eichel, McKinnon, Team of the Week point, Kucherov, Panarin, Carter, Barkov. So in terms of center, you're kind of stuck if you can't get Zetterberg because... Like, you could go Sagan, um, but I would probably wait for the new event that's coming out to the Leaders event. There's a very good chance we get a very, very good centerman there. Uh, from Krobin says, hey, Sleeves, thanks for all the content, all the great videos and podcasts. It's been very helpful. Thank you, my dude. I don't play PvP, just grind PvE and auction house to level my team. Working with about 1 million coins. Still hunting for McDavid's X Factor from Choice Packs. Plan to D-level Panarin and Matthews if, when, I get McDavid's X Factor. I don't want to keep adding X Factors. D leveled Barzal last month when I got Obi and Eichel. As upgrades for Barzal at the time weren't looking good. I have too many righties. I understand that. Who do you think I should take and replace as my free 94 style card? I'm saving all 94 or not NHLers for future power up sets or power up collectible sets um, with better ratios like we saw Thanksgiving weekend. I was turning in 80 plus gold to pack the transition, slowly working on team builders. Uh, from reward packs plus, where can I buy reasonable? Can I buy at reasonable prices? Should I continue to do this or abandon one to go back to the making power of collectibles? I mean, if you're close to making one of the 94s, Zetterberg's huge. And the reason why, I would only recommend building a team builder, guys, if you know that you can build two. If you know that you can't build two, it's going to cost you so much. And then you're kind of stuck when the 98s come out because then the price will shoot back up. But if you can make two, um, then I would go for it. If not, then whatever. Bench X Factor Barzal. Okay, so Barzal, you should invest in. Is the hard part. I would downgrade Panarin and put bars out and pump it into bars out. His X Factor card is one of the best in the game. You have Aho, Kopitar, O'Reilly, Connor, Kachuk, Kaprizov, Latang. The only one, like Kopitar and O'Reilly, could be interesting because they might get a leader's card. Um, if that's the case, then Kopitar becomes really interesting again. Um, but your team is so stacked. Like the only thing I would see is you try and get Barzal back in the lineup. Um, and your defense is fine as well, dude. Uh, yeah, I would probably just wait. Uh, hey, Sleeveless, I need some help with my team. I feel like the only thing I can do is upgrade my X-Factor cards. What X-Factor should I upgrade first? Also, just pack Paul Beeson. Net 94, but I don't know where to play him. I also got X-Factor Matthews and Makar. They worth the upgrade. If you got, if, uh, Beeson net is tradable, I would sell him. If he's not tradable, oh, okay, he is untradable. That makes sense. Um, if you're really good at centers, you could, or face-offs, you can play him at center, but I play him on the wing. Um, get rid of, uh, Dolan. Um, It's tough because you have some decent lefties. I would, dude, unless unless you really like Kane, I would probably downgrade Kane, put Beeson out of the wing, and upgrade Kucherov, um, or or McKinnon. Sorry, downgrade Kane, upgrade McKinnon, and then, dude, you're gonna need a centerman. You could push everyone up. Your centers are good, like they're big, they're just slow, right? The X factors you should upgrade first. McKinnon won for sure. Eichel, second, because he could play center. Then Kucherov. Yes, that would be it. Hey, Cam, updated the team a bit. Curious what your favorite G Fuel flavors are and also thought on what to do next to my team. My favorite flavors are Shiny Splash, Hype Sauce, and Phase Bear. So good. Uh, on my bench, I have X Factor Dry Seidel, Need his base, and I have Style Icon Sagan 86. I wouldn't, I wouldn't put coins into Sagan. And X Factor Dry Sidle, it's gonna cost you way too much at this point, I think. I wouldn't I wouldn't go. I'm also stuck on upgrading McDavid as I need his base to upgrade his next tier. <clears throat> hmm. 
Yeah, he's about 75,000 coins. You're going to need to save up those 75,000 coins. Um, Origin Stall Prime. You have a really good team, like a free-to-play team, it looks like here. Uh, keep working on McDavid. You need to put McDavid high in your lineup. Like, I would put him first line left handed winger and find another centerman. Um, you could look at any of the, you know, the 88s. I've, I've mentioned the Superstar Origins, Akil Thomas, a ton. Cards like that that are around the 90 speed and shot and 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 face off and defensive awareness, that kind of stuff. I would not invest in dry saddle though. Austin Anderson says, Hey, Slaves, love the content. Team's looking pretty good, just not sure where to go with it next. I have 400k. Need to build Zetterberg still to get rid of Matthews, but other than that, not sure where to go with my team. So if he gets Zetterberg, I mean, your team is loaded, brother. There's nowhere to go. You're just waiting for the next cards to come out. You have almost a perfect team other than uh, Lemieux and Gretzky. Hey, Slaves, just wondering what I should do in access of my team. Keep in mind, uh, my fourth line X-Factors are not going to be upgraded they are going to be replaced. I have X-Factor, Pasta, and Dry Settle upgraded. I have packed X-Factor, Connor McDavid three times now. Wow, weird flex. I have no set fodder dude team of the year and like 9K. Mac is tradable. I'm focusing on team builders. All right, uh, so what should you do next with your team? Stop upgrading Doc. There's no point now. Upgrade Barzal to like 88, 89. Put, dry, put Eichel on center. Don't upgrade Hughes anymore. And then... Don't upgrade Byram. Don't upgrade any of these. You have so many of them. Yeah, got, you want to stop spending so many coins on these, dude. I would I would go Eichel up a little bit and then Barzal so you can move Eichel over to center. Thomas LaFerre. Hey, sleeves, bonjour. What's up, brother? I know that my defense is my weakness. What should I do to upgrade my team? I'm free to play with Barzal's X-Factor that I'm interested in selling because I packed Obi's X-Factor and want to get him next. So I was thinking of choosing Burns for D to D1 T. You think of making two more team builders. Do you think I should upgrade Barzal or keep on selling? I would upgrade Barzal. Um, he's far better than Panarin. Unless Panarin's one of your favorite players, Barzal's X-Factor card is going to be better than Panarin. Um, Bedard has been one of the most broken cards and not in a good way. There's something actually like wrong with his card. So unless you're like popping off with him, I would downgrade his card. And then, yeah, your right-handed defense is where your clear weakness is. So I would go with uh, Burns or Carlson, whatever one fits your thing. And then in terms of getting another team builder, I would go Zetterberg. And if you do two, then uh, Weber. Good team, though. Uh, Ace Leaves, love the content. Just wondering what to do with my team next. He's got Pasta, Sagan, Rantanen, McDavid, Paterka, Barzal, McKinnon, Crosby, Stutzla. Um... Okay, so you're at the, when you get the 94, when you get your 94, you need a forward. Uh, and you have the 92 say again, so you spent coins on that. That's tough. You've got Evo Berry. I'm assuming that's 89 Hamilton. I would go Chikrin as your free to play guy. That's and then I would wait and see uh what your next uh your the next event has. It might give you some usable cards there. Uh wow, long list here. Hey slaves, I'm starting my team and I'm looking for some tips to get a team that can compete as fast as possible. Can you help me, bro? Your content is really good. Uh Das, dude, I have a video that's literally my budget builds video. Go check that out. Uh it'll give you like a team that you can build for like under a hundred thousand coins. Ronald Suke says, howdy, Cam. Sleeves, I've run a theme team for my hut team, and I need to help with my line combos. Since I have a shortage of right-handed players with most of the best face-off men being right-handed, I'm wondering, is it better to have one timer option on every line with a righty on left wing or just use my right-handed players on the draw since they're better on face-off? Here's my lineup. Yeah, you. I mean, you want to be able to get one-timers on the wing, so you never want to play right-handed players on the right side. So avoid that at all costs. Other than that, man, I mean, you've got a sick Flames team here. There's not much else you can do. You just have to, you know, keep waiting for some new Flames to come out. Uh, there's not much else you can do. But in that sense, in terms of lineup, you always want to make sure you have a one-timer on the wing. All right, guys, so that is going to do it for today's Who Should You Choose. Make sure you are here for the stream tonight uh, as we take a look at the new Leaders event. I will see you guys next time. Have a good one.